Today we can discuss this question from Ad Coder Beginner Contest 164. I will do the top three questions, the first three questions, and then the rest of the questions in the subsequent videos. The first question is sheep and wolves. The first question states that there are S sheep and W wolves. If the number of wolves is greater than or equal to the number of sheep, the wolves will attack the sheep. If the wolves will attack the sheep, print unsafe, otherwise print safe. So you just have to check that if the number of wolves is greater than or equal to the number of sheep. Okay. So what we can directly do is we can input sheep and wolves and we can just easily check if wolves is greater than or equal to sheep then it is unsafe. Unsafe else it is safe. Let's directly submit it. Okay. Next question is Takashi and Aoki will have a battle using their monsters. The health and strength of the Takashi's monsters are A and B. So A is the health of Takashi's monster and B its strength. While Aoki's monster has C strength, uh, C uh, health and D strength. Okay, the two monsters will try attacking each other. First, Takashi's monster, then Aoki's monster, and they will decrease their health by the equal to the uh, attacker's strength. So one will attack according to its strength, and the health of the other will decrease. And the monster will attack until one monster becomes zero or below, and that monster will die. Okay. So as you can see, the health of both monsters are 10. First, Takashi's monster attack Aoki's monster, and its health decrease by 9 because the initial health is 10. It decreases by 9 because this is its strength. So the remaining Aoki's monster health is 1. Now, uh, Aoki monster has strength of 10, so its attack and the health of it becomes zero and so uh, Takashi is lost and so he doesn't want so the answer is no and that's it so my this is some accepted I hope you see this, this first one okay so now let's just code it we can do a while loop here because uh, the constraints are very small we can easily do a while loop So what we can do here is we have to first take input A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, and okay. So we have to do it, and we can take a counter for whose chances at a present who wants to attack or who, whose chances to attack. So we can take a counter for K for attack, and we have to do this until. Uh, so if the health of both are greater, then we will continue fighting. Else we will break. Okay. So what we have to check is if k mod two is equal to zero. It means it's the first chance because k is starting at zero. So this comes out to be zero, and this is the first chance of Takashi. So when Takashi chance is there, then Aoki chance is C. So Aoki health decreases by the Takashi's monster strength, so it's B. And after attack, we increment the counter. Else, what we have to do is we will subtract the other health, the other monster's health by the strength of the attacker, and we will again increment the counter. And when any one of them gets zero or below, then we come out of this loop. So if A is less than or equal to zero it means the health of a is less than or equal to zero then takashi is lost because the monster of takashi is a and its length is health is less than or equal to zero so the answer is no so it means he has lost else he has won so we have to output yes let's just submit it In the third question, they are given that you draw n lot, that you draw lottery n times, and I draw 
you got an item of the kind represent, represented by the string si how many kind of item did you get okay so as you can see in the example in the first time you lottery you, you drew a string of apple in the second lottery you drew a string of orange in the third lottery you drew a string of apple so there are how many different type of cards you drew so you drew apple are of one kind and orange are different kinds so total there are two types in this only one type you drew so answer is one and that's it so you can maintain a set because set store only one quantity of one type so and after that we can return the size okay it's good now we can compile this okay the first one is 10 10 10 answer is yes okay i have done something here so what what we can do is for the health of this is decremented by d not this let us submit again and we write the code for this again So we have to just maintain a set of strings. So n, take the input of n, make a set of strings, name it s, and do a for loop over n i plus plus. We take a input of string and then we just insert it. and uh, yeah this output is dot size so we can run this so then we can get it's accepted now so we can run it with this test case it's four yes Running. So it's also accepted. I hope you understand all the three questions. If you still have any doubts, please mention on. I'll do the rest of the videos uh, in the coming. Thank you for watching this video. Also.